So now that we got the, the full restore bullshit out of the way as soon as Axel Gore, Hyper Beam is its desperation move, and that's too little too late! Ball Corona goes down, and I am the Unova League Champion! And... Well, what can I say? That was pathetic! But then again, I think most people expected such an outcome when I absolutely face-rolled Cynthia, which, well, I'll be honest, it made me very happy in my pants when that happened. So now, we are going to finally see the, hall, the traditional Hall of Fame scene that uh, we couldn't get to see on our first time here. And uh, for once... The local professor doesn't come to see us put our Pokemon on this pedestal as we commemorate this crowning achievement. So, let's put our Pokemon, sorry about that, on this device and record them for all eternity. Or maybe not, because uh, this file doesn't have uh, too long left to live. Of course, I'm not deleting it from my computer, just in case. But, yeah, Dragonite, Tyranitar are two pseudo-legendaries that perform very well. Mian Shao destroyed uh, Grimsley. Lilligan destroyed Caitlyn. Excellent job there. Milotic pulled its weight when it counted. And we got Zekrom, our uber which did so much for us, took the bullet when we needed it, and I am now the league champion. But wait! There's one more challenge that we can take on now that we've beaten Alder. Back in New Vima Town, what you want to do? You're, you'll find Bianca here, so you want to talk to her. And once you've done that, you will be able to fight her once every week on Saturday nights. So yeah, she's going to keep talking and talking, and by the way, if you talk to her, get this dialogue out of the way on a Saturday night, you're going to have to wait until the next Saturday night to fight her, which is bullshit, but that's how it works. But yeah, yes, I do know about massive outbreaks of Pokemon, I already, I already told you all about that many Let's Plays ago, and she's just going to recap just in case we missed it or something, even though we said yes, yes, I know about it, maybe for the sake of those who were button mashing, I don't know, but whatever. So she was taken in as a Juniper's assistant, which leads right into the second game, interestingly enough. So yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to change my clock to Saturday night just so I can fight this battle and finish this Let's Play. See you in a moment. Okay. One more battle, and then this Let's Play is over. Now you may be thinking, since you can only fight her after Alder, she's going to be super strong and shit, right? Well, wrong! Her levels are lower than Sharon's. She's not using any items unlike Sharon, so... Really, I don't know why beating Alder is a requirement. It's absolute bullshit. But I guess it's sort of a good way to end this game in a way because Bianca was the very first trainer you fought in this game, so it's only appropriate that she would be the last as well. So, Stoutland's Intimidate won't do too much on Yan Chao considering that we already dealt with the Crocodile earlier on, and Stoutland, well, it's it has a much lower level for one, and uh, Musharna... No, I'm not going to uh, pull off that uh, six, um, six Quiver Dance bullshit again. It's overkill for Bianca, so I'm just going to go with Tyranitar, crunch it to Oblivion, and call it a day. So, oh yeah, forewarned Tyranitar alerted to Earthquake, even though that's not the most threatening move at all. Musharna is going to go down easily despite these big defensive stats because, you know, once again, 13 level advantage, Simisir. I was sort of hoping that it would go last, but I'm just going to have uh, Tyranitar kill it. But, yeah, oh, this one has Brick Break, so let's see how much it does. Not much because of, once again, level advantage, and Simisir doesn't even get stab on that move. So, 
Her fire monkey's dead! Yeah, that's why I was sort of hoping that uh, it would go last, just so I could finish the Let's Play with that. But I've been denied. Doesn't matter either way. Mian Xiao, I'm going to go with my designated fighter killer, Dragonite, which has done such a great job against Marshall. Uh, at this point, I probably would be able to take it down with one Dragon Claw, and once again, fake out. Not gonna do a whole lot because I have Inner Focus, but this time I'm not even poisoned, so it's not gonna do that much of a difference. And Return misses. It's faster for some reason. Even though I have 12 levels more than that Mian Chao. Uh, did I miss something? I probably missed something, uh, to be honest with you. Kinda like against Anzarchiops. And we are going to be facing a Chandelure. Unfortunately, once again, not a threat at all. It's many, many, many levels lower than us. So just going to surf it to oblivion since, well, Chandelure is not exactly known for its speed. So, there it goes. So that means there's only one Pokémon left. The very first Pokémon we fought in this game, fittingly enough. So I guess this is a more appropriate ending than uh, Simiseer. It's Samurott! So, we're gonna, we're gonna leave that last kill to the mascot of this game. The Uber itself, Zekrom. As you can see, I don't. I, I, I'm, I'm struggling to commentate over this fight because it's just such a foregone conclusion. So, Fusion Bolt, gonna kill it. So, I guess I'm gonna get a head start on the goodbyes. I am going to take a little break after this, um, this Let's Play is over, which is like right now. I'm going to take a break for a couple weeks, and I will come back to you with more Pokemon White 2, as well as Super Mario Star Roads. I hope you have enjoyed this Let's Play as much as I enjoyed making it, and I'll see you next time.
They just did that. They went there. They knew what they were doing when they designed this character. They simply had to. <laughs>